when filling the bottles of alcohol, the first thing to make sure is that the garage door is open to let the air flow in uh, because it is 80% ethyl alcohol. Next, you want to make sure you're safe. So we have clean goggles. So make sure to grab some, uh, some safety glasses and wear those while you work. And make sure you know where the eye wash is in case you get any other splash in your eye. Here's some water to wash it out. Now when you're filling the bottles, what you're going to look for is the date and the lock code on your five gallon bucket. This is what's going to be labeled on the finished product at the end of the process. So wherever you're putting your bottles after you fill them, you want to make sure that the box is labeled with the same date and lot as your five gallon bucket. And that's where you're going to put your bottles. When you get a new bucket, if the top is closed, you need to pull up the tab of the gray part and twist it. It twists off. We keep these gray pieces. You can put them in the box over here to return. And then we have a pull tab. So it's simply pulling it back. This allows some air so that when it comes out the bottom, it'll be a nice smooth flow. You take your bottle, if it has a cap, remove the cap, place it underneath, turn the red nozzle, let that bottle fill up all the way to the neck. Shut off your nozzle. You see how it's filled right up to the neck? Recap the bottle and place it in your box. When you get about a layer of filled sanitizers, you can place them on the palette, which we will then be labeling.